Hi, I'm John White, and I'm out on Lake Simcoe, and it's boring out here because it's the February blahs, and you're getting the fish an hour, and so it's time to play. So I thought I'd give you a little tip here. You know, years ago, we used to use white tubes for uh, lake trout, and some people still do. Um, it's a very effective bait. Use it for whitefish or trout. Uh, ling, like them as well. But okay, so there's a little trick to setting these up so they become a little more effective, particularly in deeper water, but um, you can use it in shallow water as well. So this is a uh, Simcoe Pearl tube. This is made by Bass Magnet. I had um, Mike from Bass Magnet make these up years ago, and you can see just a, basically a translucent pearl tube, and it has this fleck in it, little silver fleck in it. Beautiful tube. So when you're setting this tube up, the first thing you want to do is get out your scent and you can pick your favorite scent. Today I'm using Liquid Mayhem and what you want to do is you want to Fill the tube with this scent. Not fill it, but give it a good dose. And then you take your tube jig head. This is a 3 8 ounce. Sometimes I'll use a half ounce in shallower water, maybe a quarter ounce. And you want to put the tube head in, the jig head in. Now here's the trick. See? <clears throat> don't put the tube jig all the way to the end. You want to leave it so there's a quarter of an inch or three-eighths of an, three of an inch uh, in the front of it, and that all of the scent has been pushed to the front of that, so now you've got a little reservoir scent. And you can see it's squeezing out the top there, the little eyelet. So there's a couple of reasons for doing this, not the least of which, of course, is the scent will bleed. Uh, for a long time in there, so you'll have a scented bait for a long time. Also, with the eyelet back like this, the tube will sit horizontally. And particularly for dead stick applications, this is um, probably the best presentation. And the other reason you want to use leave this even in the summertime with this little reservoir in the front here is because this soft rubber top here won't get stuck in the rocks. So you're dragging along and it's bumping nose down like this and it won't get stuck in the rocks. And if it does, it pulls out easy because of course, there's nothing to prevent it from coming out. It doesn't get wedged as easy. Now here's the other tip. All these little tentacles here. You know, often during the February blahs, you know, you're hanging the tube up there, a trout comes up and they grab the end of it and then they spit it out and, you're, and he's gone. So what you wanna do is you wanna take all these little tentacles here Take your scissors and you want to cut these tentacles about three eighths of an inch or a half an inch from the end of the hook like this. And this will help prevent the short bites, give you a little smaller, neater profile there. And that's my tip. So you've got the scent in the front here, horizontal in the water and fewer short bites. That's my tip for the day. So back to boring fishing. I'm going to put this on actually and see if I can't get a trout. White tubes for lake trout started up in northwestern Ontario and kind of migrated down to Lake Simcoe about 20 years ago. Although still very effective in shallow water, it was typically used in deeper water. We were hanging it well off the bottom and then using it as a chase bait. Might be time to give them a try again. Tight lines.